Ryan Garcia has been searching for his next opponent and it looks like he's called out Teofimo Lopez. Ryan Garcia was open about who he hoped to fight next and he gave a specific list. Ryan tweeted, three people I want to fight next. Rollies, they just ordered him to fight someone else. Isaac Cruz, if he's willing to go to 140. Teofimo Lopez, depending on the outcome. Rolly Romero was originally very excited about the potential fight and he felt like Ryan would have been the same way. Rolly stated, I'm going to tell you like this, that fight right there is going to be a massive fight. I just know the promotion leading up to it. Y'all already know that I'm going to go 100% on it and I'm sure Ryan will go 100% as well. Look, it's a big fight, that's all I can say. It's a massive fight and I feel that's what the boxing world needs right now. Rolly really believes that Ryan Garcia is a bigger opponent than Devin Haney and Gervonta Davis. The fighter that's gonna get me what I want and make me into a bigger star is me versus Ryan. But I think that's premature. Me and Ryan will fight at welterweight. You and Ryan Garcia at welterweight? Yeah, down the line, you'll see. It's gonna be one of the biggest fights in the history of boxing, if not the biggest fight in the history of boxing, and you'll see. You think he's got more skills right now than Devin Haney? What the hell? Ryan Garcia is like the f Man, people don't realize that them f punch harder than, f De than Devin. I think he punch harder than Tank. I really think he punch harder than Tank. I mean, we saw what the f Tank was having the worst time of his life against f Francisco for the Sesca, right? Hit him behind the head and all that, f right? We should have been DQ'd. Ryan Garcia walk in, f my one round like nothing. Like nothing? Like nothing. Wow. Man, and people, people tend to forget that shit. No, Ryan's a f 10 times p bigger puncher than f Tank. It's the truth. It's the truth. Derek James has taken over training for Ryan Garcia, and he doesn't think that Ryan would need a tune-up fight to go against Rolly. Derek stated, He's a great worker, he's really focused, and he's really engaged. I talked to him a week and a half ago because he's on vacation right now, so we'll get back to the gym in a week or so. You can always change. He's 24, and AJ was able to change, so there's no difference. Everybody can change. The younger they are, the better they can become. I don't think he needs an extra tune-up fight for Rolly. With Rolly, who can you get to help you? At the same time, he may not need a tune-up fight for that. I hope he sees that too. Ryan was looking forward to taking Rolly on at 140, and he definitely seemed ready to go. I'm improving, getting better. I'm ready to get at it at 140, bring on Rolly's. You know, he part of PBC. We already ran it once with PBC. I didn't get my get back, so I'm gonna beat Rolly's and we're gonna have that at 140. Rolly has since been ordered to defend against O'Hara Davies, so next in line on Ryan's list was Isaac Cruz, and Isaac hasn't seemed to be a big fan of Ryan's. Isaac at one point tried to give advice on how you win people over, and he doesn't think that Ryan does a good job of that. Isaac stated, Support of the people is earned in the ring and with great fights. I believe that the support of the fans are won in the ring. In the fights, giving great shows. You win by giving great fights, not like Ryan on social media or with a punch. It's about making them real wars and fighting whoever. Nowadays, everything already feels Mexican. Just because they bring a trainer, someone from their team, that's why they feel Mexican, and I don't think that's the way it is. I think they should be proud of their roots if they're American, Japanese, wherever they're from, they should be proud of their nationality. But it looks like Isaac has his eyes on a different fighter right now. We want the rematch with Javante Davis. Uh, these fans have been great, and that's why, um, you know, they came out and I, what, what I promised is a depth already, and we did it tonight. Javante shakes his head. I wish we could bring him into the ring. <laughs> Ryan also said that he'd love to run back a rematch with Javante Davis, and he stated, The right weight, 140 pounds, no rehydration clause. I did it for the people this time, but when I come back, I'm going to do it for me. I'm hungry right now. I got a new coach, a great coach, Derek James. We're going to be together. After the last fight with Davis, Conor McGregor was there to give Ryan support. Back to the buddy. He's 1-0 on you. Those are the two biggest names in the division. I want to see it again. Yeah. I want to see it again now, and I want to see it for no rehydration. Yeah. Yeah. But you are cracking too. You're trying to take him to the lead hook. Mate, all the respect in the world for you. You're the future. Thank you're the future of this game. And I'm, I'm, I'm watching you all the way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Later, Conor McGregor stated, sure, why not rematch? They've already made the match, so it'd be easy to get it done again. There's a storyline to it. I don't know if Garcia could win a rematch, it's a tough ask, but that extra bit of weight when you don't have to rehydrate or you're allowed to rehydrate, it makes a difference. It wasn't the body shot that ended him. It was a shot that over time if he was allowed to rehydrate, that may have been different, you know? That just leaves Teofimo Lopez and there's definitely enough drama there to get the crowd excited for that potential fight. Bob Arum is very open to the idea and he seems to favor that matchup over any other. Bob stated, we want to bring Teofimo back this year and then make him a real big fight next year. He proved in the Josh Taylor fight that he still has it and that he's a top, top fighter. The public wants to see him again. I've talked to Oscar De La Hoya. I've talked to Eric Gomez. We're good friends. They would like to make that fight. It depends on their relationship with Ryan, and I don't want to get into it because I don't know enough about it. But if they can truly produce Ryan, that would be a huge fight for both guys, and I would certainly be interested in it. A co-promotion with Golden Boy is something we've done very often. Teofimo Lopez Sr. definitely thinks that a fight with Ryan would be a big money opportunity, and he named a few others that he'd like to see his son take on. Lopez Sr. stated, a big money fight would be Ryan Garcia, so we're trying to get that fight with Oscar De La Hoya Golden Boy Promotions. We've been in talks with them. A reality fight that I think could be made is against Progre because Progre is the type of fighter that will fight anybody. With the Ryan Garcia, with the Devon, with all those guys, it's probably very difficult. I think that the fight that could be made easy is against Progre, but we're looking for the top fights. We're looking for the Devon Haney fights, not Shakur because Shakur just got in the 135, but we're looking for the top dudes like Tank. Anybody can get it. Oscar De La Hoya definitely thinks that he's looking out for Ryan and he's been concerned about other people whispering in his ear. I want you to fight. I want you to be a legend. I want. Did, do you think I wanted him to fight Tank Davis with a rehydration clause? Hell no. I'm looking out for him. But he has people that are whispering in his ear, oh, Oscar's bad. Oh, go with this other promoter who will take care of you more. You'll make more money. Well, guess what? Ryan just made 30 million plus dollar, uh, million dollars. But you know, Bob Barron once told me, Oscar, you're gonna be, you're gonna get disappointed. You're gonna get disappointed and they're gonna break your heart, meaning fighters. Yeah. So don't take it personal. Teofimo definitely thinks that Ryan is about as flawed as it gets in the boxing world too. Devin has about like five, six flaws. Tank has about like three, four. Ryan has about 10. There's too many for him. Every time he punches, he puts his chin up. Bro, I could, I'm could. i gonna dissect all these boys when the time comes. Timing beats everything. Timing beats speed, power, ring IQ. I have more tricks up my sleeve than y'all know. Teofimo really doesn't want to give Ryan too much credit in the way of being a fighter, and he thinks that Ryan knows his own weakness too well. Teofimo stated, of course, you know me guys, come on now. I don't duck any fight. I take everything they give me. I never said no to any fight. Ryan Garcia, he's just hype. He's all happy because of his last performance, so he feels like he can take on everybody. He feels like Superman, but really, he's his own kryptonite. Teofimo Sr. definitely doesn't like Ryan's coaching team or the direction they were giving him in his last fight against Gervonta Davis. Lopez Sr. stated, I never said Ryan was going to win the fight. I said it was a 50-50 fight, and the only way he was going to win was by the check left hook. I never said Ryan was going to win. I never had Ryan winning because Ryan is really chinny, especially in his fight against Luke Campbell. I knew he was chinny. I knew this guy was going to get him. I was listening to the commentating in the corner, and Joe Goosen never told him anything. It was just like, you're doing good, just keep it up. He was never giving him no directions. There was no coaching at all in the corner. That coach, Joe Goosen, was a motivational coach. That's all he was in that fight. Go look at the fight. Not even the commentators saw that <laughs> When Teofimo was giving his prediction for Ryan's fight against Gervonta, he pointed out that Ryan lacks the proper IQ to come away with a win. Mm -hmm. who, who wins with the Ryan Garcia and Tank Davis fight? Uh, Tank Davis. Tank you know why? I, I've seen Ryan fight. And although Ryan has had a lot of amateur fights and everything almost equivalent to Ryan Garcia, his IQ is not like Tank's. IQ is everything. You got IQ, you win everything. Mm -hmm. I know how to beat Tank. 
Ryan Garcia thinks maybe it's just an, a, a psychological thing where he's saying, I'm just going to hurt you with my hook and stuff like that. But you know what I'm saying? But what else can you pursue and what else can you do? The only way I'm going to help Ryan Garcia right now, you can promote that one. Ryan, you know how you beat Tank? You really want to know how to beat him? Don't commit. That's it. Do not commit. You counter him and wait on him. You counter him and wait on him. I was telling Roley how to beat Javante. And he was doing it from the first round to the sixth. But Roley doesn't have the experience. And Tank knows that. It looks as though Oscar De La Hoya is eyeballing Ryan Garcia or Teofimo Lopez for the big Super Bowl weekend coming up in February. Oscar stated, there's a huge weekend, Super Bowl weekend, and I think the only fighter that can headline the event is Ryan Garcia. Ryan and Teo would be a lot of fun. Better yet, when Ryan Garcia DM'd Teofimo about fighting, Teofimo ended up putting him on blast. Lopez stated, Ryan direct messaged me and everything. Bro's desperate for a payday. He DM'd me after the Josh Taylor fight. I deleted it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.